in a day. Okay. The big one that you will be yeah. out. Rest of them is twice a day. Twice a day. So coffee, green tea doesn't allow. Yeah. It will going to increase your uh, swollen. So, Herbs tea is not allowed yeah. because it will gonna make your blood thinner. Walk around. Nothing yeah. happened. We didn't have a surgery and everything yeah. is okay. Just act like I'm good. Yeah, you, and you're, you're good. good. Mm -hmm. Go and visit the city. Yeah. After today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just about to be discharged from the hospital. You guys saw that the nurse was telling me how I'm gonna do all my medication and stuff. So we just grabbed a quick Starbucks and are gonna head back to the hotel. It's such a pretty day today. I think I'm starting to swell a little bit this morning, more than I was yesterday, but I guess not the end of the world. And I'm bleeding a little bit from my nose, so I'm gonna put that gold strip on. But I think I'm just gonna chill and watch my show, and maybe sleep just take it really easy today because like you guys saw i had such a hard time sleeping last night oh it's too light there literally it almost like brought me to tears because all i wanted to do was rest once i did like start feeling sleepy i slept for like a good few six hours i don't know i'll keep you guys updated okay <laughs> and i hate that that's how i laughed out <laughs> not me having my coffee through a straw i had to wait for it to cool down so I could have it with the straw and not by myself. But I'm literally <laughs> watching more nose job vlogs on YouTube. It's literally like an inception moment. Literally just watching nose job vlogs. After nose job vlogs. I don't know why. I feel like it's kind of bringing me some kind of comfort right now. Because I don't know. I kind of like see them go through the motions. Makes it easier for me to go through the motions. But I'm actually going to turn over onto the other side. Because the sun's starting to hit me. And I know it's not good for the sun to be like directly. In my face. I mean, damn, my, my, my skin be looking good though. That light do be hitting. I'm kind of feeling the motions a little bit today, just in the sense of like, I don't know, like it's another day to tackle, you know? Does that make sense? It's just like tackling these first three, three days. So one of the nurses just came up and she saw me and she gave me all my medication. She gave me like antibiotics, she gave me pills for protecting my stomach, pills for allergy and painkillers and I just took one painkiller now. I wouldn't say that I'm in pain. I would say that it's like everybody says it's just discomfort. When I feel pain in my nose, it's like it's so tense, like the tension, it's so tight kind of, it's that kind of pain. But yeah, she just came in and she cleaned up my nose again. So I clean up my nose three times a day. It's gonna be okay, guys. <sighs> I'm just really happy that I haven't bruised too much. That's the one thing that I was like the most worried about. You guys should check out my video that I'm gonna be uploading after this one, which is like my nose job haul. And I take you guys through everything that I brought for my nose job and the things that I did prior to my nose job to kind of give you guys some tip. And I think doing those things has contributed to the fact that i haven't bruised too much and stuff like that Just subscribe so you can see that and everything and i'm gonna go back to watching my nose job vlogs and probably go to bed for a little bit afterwards i just slept for like an hour and honestly it was probably the best sleep that i've had <laughs> in a long time you know naps be hitting just had the window open a nice breeze and I set up like my little thing here. I've got like a pillow here, a pillow here, two pillows underneath me. Excuse my sweaty self. Yeah, I, I'm so glad I got that little bit of rest. It really like helped give me a bit more energy. And also, I didn't struggle to sleep on my back. And if anything, I actually slept so good. And it, it was so comfortable. And if I wanted to, guys, I could go back to sleep right now. And I might after this. <laughs> but that's just like made me feel so much more relaxed because I had such a hard time sleeping on my back yesterday. I was scared that like that was just going to be how difficult it was going to be from now on. Clearly this new setup is working. Um, oh, oh, I just hurt my hand. I took the little gauze off. So you can literally see my stitches, which is so weird. But I'm kind of living for this, guys. I'm kind of living for the bandage look. <laughs> what do we think? Should I go take some selfies or something? <laughs> I might go with my mom and go like get some, get some pineapple and juice and stuff because pineapple is really good for swelling. I'm just a little bit swollen. I'm not that much more swollen this time. Maybe the swelling will like increase more. I'm not sure. Maybe it just won't. I've been drinking so much water. I've also been icing my face here and there. Put like loads of these in the fridge and they don't stay cold for too long but like it's fine. They're just kind of soothing more than anything. Guys, the weirdest thing has been happening to me these past two days. I feel my body 
actually fall asleep before my mind falls asleep it's so strange like i feel myself start to twitch my body just go relaxed i hear myself snore like start to snore a little bit because of this thing i don't usually snore and then my mind drifts off which is so weird but kind of relaxing in a way because it's like my body like falls asleep and then my mind falls asleep it's so weird but so we've just popped out for a little bit and we've come to this place called the water garden and it is so pretty and hopefully we'll find some good food because i'm starving and i'm sick of having hospital food i just got a cheeseburger because that's all i'm feeling right now i think i'm gonna have to put it up though because there's no way i'm biting out of that a few moments later so it's currently 5 a.m and i've been having such a hard night guys i tried to sleep at 10 but then i woke up at 12 and my nose was so blocked like so blocked so i called the nurse and i was literally crying and i was telling her like we can't sleep it feels like so much pressure so she came and she just gave me a sleep Good morning guys, it is officially day 3 and I am feeling it. My face is so puffy and swelling, I look like a chip bug. literally look at my eyes, they're so swollen in the inner corners. just have my jade roller and I'm just trying to de-puff my face, it's so crazy because last night, also can you <laughs> hear that noise, yeah that's the silicon tubes in my nose. I don't know what's going on there, but we won't roll it with it. Last night was really difficult, as you guys know. I knew that today was going to be really difficult, and I knew that I was going to swell today, so this isn't something that is surprising, and this was actually expected, if anything. So, I'm just going to try my best to, like, drink lots of water today, rest a lot. I feel like because my eyes are so puffy in the middle, I just constantly feel like I want to sleep now, so I'm just going to sleep. a little bit later during the day i don't know if my swelling has gone down i i can't tell at this point i slept for a bit i did order some room service because i really don't feel up to leaving today or anything like that hi guys day four is officially upon us as you can probably tell i'm feeling a little bit more alive today thankfully i actually slept really well last night i feel like i'm getting better at knowing when to take my medication and like they gave me another sleeping pill and i took that like an hour before i planned to sleep so it would kick in i think i'm also getting used to just this situation on my face a tip i definitely have is before you sleep like walk around be as upright as you possibly can because the second you like tip your head back a little bit even though i literally sleep upright guys the second you like tip your head back a little bit your nose gets so like blocked and then like the pressure is just insane and i slept from 11 until 9 which is like that's a good amount of sleep i slept for 10 hours and I think I woke up once at 5 a.m. and just went back to sleep. I just tried to, you know, make myself feel a little bit more alive today, curl my hair, did some soap brows, put a little bit of lipstick on, which by the way, guys, why has this nose job like made my lips look so cute? Like the shape of them is just it's giving. I feel like as much as I can, I'm kind of rocking the nose job aesthetic. Is it just me? I'm still so puffy, as you guys can see. I feel like the swelling has just dropped like down to this part of my face and I keep using my jade roller and stuff which I think is helping. I do have dried blood like you guys can see but that's really close to like where my stitches are and I really don't want to like rub on that and then like accidentally I don't know mess something up so I'm just like trying to be careful around that area but as far as like cleaning up my nose goes like it's going well hopefully it's on the up from here and my hardest nights have gone I'm not even sure if I'm in discomfort anymore I feel like now I'm used to it so I just kind of feel like this is how I've always been living I can't breathe through my nose 
But as you can see, it's not pleasant. I just avoid doing that. And now my throat and my mouth is accustomed to breathing through my mouth. So I don't really like get irritated and stuff, which is great. I'm gonna try to not mentally be like, oh my God, like I've had surgery and I don't think that's the right way to put it. The plan is to mentally like trick myself into thinking that I'm good. I mean, I am good. So I'm gonna go sit downstairs for a bit. I might take my laptop and do some editing, edit this vlog and stuff. Up the stage, just having my screen. Cinderella, baby, drop the ball with it. Some of my dolls, yeah, they dolls with it. Hi guys, it's now day five. If I'm not wrong, the days have seemed to merge into one. Very much swollen, although it has come down. Like, I can tell it's come down a bit. I just kind of showed you guys, I guess, what is my nose job morning routine, if you will. I feel like at this point, like, I'm just going to be checking in with you guys for these next few days for, like, a little bit, just to show you guys, I guess, what I look like, because there really isn't much update. Last night, I did have a bit of difficulty. Like, I, I think I had a heartburn. I'm really not sure, but, yeah, I woke up at 3 a.m. And I felt like I couldn't get enough oxygen. I don't know how. I don't know if it was too hot. I don't know what the situation was, but yeah, I had a bit of a rough time last night. As you guys can see, I've got a bit of yellowing right here, which I'm assuming under here, maybe I have a bit of bruising. But the fact that it's yellow is good because it means that it's already kind of healing, which I'm kind of thrilled about. So I get my cast off either in two days and definitely in three, which is just so weird and surreal. And I feel like I'm not mentally prepared for cast removal. I know so many girls that are like, I just want to get my cast removed, I just want to get my cast removed. I'm like, girl, keep it. On. I don't want to see because I know it's going to be swollen and I'm also I also feel like I'm not ready to see my new face in a weird way I also feel like it's going to be so tender I'm going to be so scared of like something hitting it or something I don't know I think I'm just going to occupy myself by watching some euphoria I know there's new episodes out and at the moment I can't be on social media because someone's gonna spoil it for me for sure i'm also really kind of excited to like come out with the fact that i've got a nose job to you guys i kind of kept it a secret one because of evil eye also because i just kind of want to come out with a youtube video and just like here's my experience I'm definitely a little bit anxious about what the response will be because i know people are gonna be like oh like why did you get a nose job but i will do a whole q a on that afterwards and you know show you guys my one month post off just like comment down below what you want to see related to this no oh my god guys i also forgot to mention yesterday i saw one of the girls that works for clinic hope she's called elida and she's such a sweetheart i was telling her how i was looking for um pineapple juice at the grocery store that's close by but they didn't have any and she sent this to me literally a whole pineapple how sweet and it's literally like oh that was dripping everywhere i've got pineapple dripping everywhere they've just been so good to me this whole stay and i was saying to elida we were sat and we were just having a chat and i was saying like i knew i was gonna come and get a nose job and i knew it wasn't gonna be like the best experience because you know you're, you're recovering from a surgery but i've actually had such a good time like making friends with elida and Celine, which is the other girl and me and her like we see each other as well and we, we chat and stuff and even the people that work at the hotel and like the other people at the clinic it's just like a sense of community and you see the same people the same nurses and stuff and i literally could not recommend them anymore i just ordered some room service i got the club sandwich it's so good guys but now i'm thinking was this the best thing for me to get? I'm not going to be able to eat this physically. I really didn't think this through. But got my food, got my euphoria going. And yes, I'm watching on some dodgy website because I don't know. Is there any other way you can watch it? I'm really not sure. Guys, it turns out I'm getting my cast taken off tomorrow, which I'm like, I don't know how to feel about it. I feel like I just wasn't mentally ready to get it taken off tomorrow. You know, like I keep telling you guys that I'm going to get it taken off in two days or three days. I don't know. I feel like I'm not ready to see my face with the new nose i'm also i don't know i just feel really nervous like i wouldn't mind if they kept it on for another few days but i guess there's no escaping this moment and i am kind of excited as well but i think more nervous than excited i just need you guys to keep in mind that my nose is gonna be so swollen tomorrow it's not gonna look like that tomorrow like it's gonna take way more shape than it will tomorrow in fact it takes a complete year for you to see the final result so bear that in mind because i'm gonna bear that in mind and i've watched way too many youtube videos by now to be like upset and shocked at my nose tomorrow because i know it's not what it's gonna look like oh i'm so nervous 
Now I will remove the silicone. It is very easy, don't worry okay. about it. Okay. Uh, this is the most difficult uh, part. Oh my god, it feels like it's coming out my throat. You have allergic mucus. Cleaning inside your nose. Okay. Oh my god, that was terrible. Yes. Now I am removing the stitches. The stitch will dissolve by itself in yeah. two weeks. When you touch here, you can feel them for two weeks, don't worry about it. Can you breathe now? Oh my god, I can breathe so well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the painful stage finished now. Uh, I will remove the cast. Oh. It will be aesthetical stage, don't worry. Painless. Don't have it. Wow. What an amazing oh, nose, Helen. <laughs> I love it. Really? Perfect. <laughs> Guys, I'm not crying, my eyes are just watering. Is it swollen? Like really badly? Of course, or? incredibly swollen. You have incredibly swollen. Oh, really? The swollen will go down day by day and mm -hmm. we will see final result after a year. Mm -hmm. uh, but after one week, you can see roughly yeah. results. We can look to the mirror, the left side is better. <laughs> I'm so excited. <gasps> no way! <laughs> No way! I don't recognize myself! <laughs> of course, you have so swollen, the swollen will go down, your nasal tip will droop one or two millimeter, and it will be more natural. But for now, it is perfect. <laughs> I feel emotional, and I never thought I would feel. I never, I was like, I'm not gonna cry. I'm actually in shock. Perfect now. I mean, it's definitely giving me a bit piggy, but I know that that will come yeah, down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, thank you so much. Yeah, thank I'm you so, happy. so much. Now I will do taping. Oh my god, wait, okay. Just before we do that, yes. can you get some pictures? Because my mm -hmm. friends will literally kill me. Yeah. Don't touch this tape for five days. Mm -hmm. After five days, you can remove it. When in the shower, put the water first and you can remove yeah. easily. Uh, this will be a waterproof bandage. You can take a shower from tomorrow. Okay. And after five days, when you remove the tapes, mm -hmm. you should do taping only at night for three months. Really swollen? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so maybe you can hear. Oh, I can feel. The voice is like Play Doh. <laughs> so it's gonna get much smaller, right? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. I have to enter this area. You have too much swollen, swollen here. Yeah. Uh, with a needle, oh. I have to answer and I will check what is this. Oh no. Don't worry, it will be easy. Yes. Oh. I'm bleeding under the skin. And other side. No! God, please, no! No! I want to put that down. Oh no. <laughs> There's a dead space between skeleton yeah. and skin. Yeah. Uh, sometimes uh, some bleeding material mm -hmm. uh, collect here. Mm -hmm. yes, this side is clean. Press under your eyes, here and here. Yeah. Wait five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and open. Press, wait five seconds, and open. You should do five times every set and twice a day. Morning five times, evening five times. Please lie back. I want to check your nostrils. Nostrils are perfect. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Is perfect. I'm just so grateful to you and to Clinicum and to everybody. And Thank you so much, Ellen. I'm so happy to hear you. I'm going to stare at it in the mirror for like hours now. <laughs> <laughs> so for some reason, Clinicum thought that I was leaving on the tent, so we've had to change rooms. But this is a super cute room as well. It's practically the same love like this big mirror situation in here and then you've got like beds and then the view is so much nicer we are one level up i don't know how much difference that makes but the view is gorgeous i think i prefer this room that experience was so surreal there's no other way to explain it other than imagine like the face that you've been staring in the mirror for for 23 years of your life is no longer looking back at you. It's like it's like I took a picture of myself, photoshopped my nose, or like put a filter on it, and then morphed it and came, like it came to life. And then now it's looking back at me. 
it's so weird and i have been having a little bit of an identity crisis like do i look like me anymore but the thing is i can't really go off of that because i don't look like me first of all because of my face like it's so swollen this nose is so swollen like i'm i'm not gonna look like me because n no part of me looks like me other than i guess my not even my eyes are swollen here i really like my nose and the thing is i know it's so swollen like he literally said it's like play-doh and when i do the massages like when i press in i feel like how much deep it goes into it. it's crazy like it literally does feel like play-doh can't believe i'm saying this but i have got a discount code for you guys for your next nose job operation with clinic hub you guys can use my discount code helen 100 for 100 pounds off of your whole package which is just incredible and i can't believe i'm giving you guys a discount code for your potential nose job there's no way to describe myself other than that i think i looked like a chipmunk before and now i look like a bear Am I giving anybody else bear vibes? I'm just trying to mentally brace myself for what it's going to be like in the next month, in the next half a year, in the next year. Like, it's such a journey. It's not an overnight thing. And on that note, if you're about to comment something negative about this nose job, I need you take a second, go for a walk, meditate a little bit, do some skincare, I don't know, listen to some good music and ask yourself, is that a good idea? I can't remember if I mentioned this, but I think by the time I upload this, I'll be two weeks post off. So it won't be long until I'm giving you guys a one month post op update, which I'm like, I can't wait to see myself. I will be coming out with hella content for this nose job. Like I said, the next video is most likely going to be my nose job haul. I was thinking to make my one month post op also a Q&A. So let me know in the comments if you guys would like that and also drop questions because then I'm just going to take a note of all of them and I guess answer them in that video. This experience has surpassed what I thought it was going to be, you know? And I'm also proud of myself, guys, for doing this. I've been wanting to do this for the longest time and I hope you're happy for me too and you want to come on this journey with me. I can't believe that I am actually ending my nose job vlog if you haven't already be sure to hit that subscribe button because we are about to go on one hell of a journey together i want you guys to be with me every step of the way and make sure you hit like if you enjoyed this nose job vlog i really try my best to be really raw with you guys and just show you like literally what the experience would be like if you went and did it yourself i didn't miss out anything when i had hard times i showed you guys i just wanted to give you guys a really authentic experience i hope that this video has been insightful and if not has been fun to watch I I don't know how fun it is to watch like unless you enjoy my misery then <laughs> i love you guys so much i will catch you in the next video bye